Mergers and acquisitions by Chinese companies have been on the rise in recent years, but some recent proposed deals in places like Australia and Germany have been rejected due to national security concerns. Our reporter Lu Yang visited one company in Sichuan province to find out more about the challenges and opportunities facing Chinese companies. These products used in slot treatment will soon be used in a water treatment plant in New York. As a leading Chinese environmental company, Texan focuses on services and engineering in the field of environmental technologies. Since 2014, the company has made four major overseas mergers and acquisitions in Germany and the United States. The last two mergers and acquisitions in Germany have given us a good reputation. From technology to engineering construction, it has formed complex, systematic environmental services. Reputation and the technology are the big gains. Recently, the company acquired 100% of building figure water technologies. The firm was one of the world's leading providers of water treatment technology. M&A has helped this Chinese company fast forward its development. We are looking for A, uh, the brand, B, technology, uh, C, the know-how, and, uh, and D, the team. Okay? Uh, so overall, all these factors add up. We compare some targets in, the, in domestic China versus, uh, uh, versus overseas like uh, Germany or U.S. Then we, we found that uh, the overseas acquisition can give us all the above uh, uh, content. According to Xinhua News Agency, China's overseas mergers and acquisitions were worth a record 134 billion U.S. dollars in the first half of 2016. However, China's purchasing power has raised the concerns in the West, especially in countries such as Germany and Australia. In August this year, the Australian government rejected China State Grid Corp's bidding for its largest electricity network, citing national security concerns. Another example is recent delays surrounding a China-financed nuclear power station in the UK. Senior visiting scholar from Stanford University, Tang Jiqiang, says for MNAs to succeed, they need more support at a national level. Nowadays, the strong resistance is in high-tech fields such as IT and biological technology. I think the problem is that we need unified coordination on overseas M&As. Secondly, we need greater efforts toward diplomacy. Chinese and overseas enterprises have cultural differences, some of them quite large. Over the years, privately owned Chinese firms account for two-thirds of the 20 largest overseas M&As, and there are certainly mutual benefits for both sides. Liu Yang, CCTV, Sichuan Province.